Hey guys, this is Jimmy from Primer is Best. I thought I would take up where I left off on the last video where I had all this taped up on this uh, 1978 Chevy C10 truck that we call Billy James because the man that used to own this truck, his name is Billy James. Okay, if you're new to the channel, just get you up to speed real quick. I'm rattle can painting. And let me tell you this. Uh, like I said, I got this at our local co-op store. It's Ace, and I'm using Watt Gloss. So, I've used one, I guess one and maybe three quarters. I'm, I'm going to keep up with how many cans I use on this truck, okay? That way, if you were to ask me, <laughs> I can kind of give you some kind of clue. Uh... And remember, I'm, this trim is coming off. I taped over it. Eh, not really, but I, just to make me feel good, I taped over it. But it's still got paint on it. And it don't matter because I got new trim for this truck. And let me tell you what. Uh, if you watch GM Tim's GM Tur... <laughs> let me start all over, guys. I'm in such a hurry. GM Tim 38. If you have not watched his videos, you need to subscribe and watch them. He picked up my new trim for me for this truck and my 66 Chevy truck. And uh, I tell you what, guys, it sure is expensive. I tell you what, it's unbelievably, unbelievably expensive than what it was just a few years ago. Maybe in the last couple of two or three years, things have just, you know, everything's shot up. So, uh not getting into all that but i just going to show you the truck uh, i will tell you in advance that i did spray this just a minute ago where it was kind of uh where i had patina on this before let me show you what this looked like on the other side and that way you'll kind of know what i'm talking about i've rattle can painted this truck once before don't pay no attention to this stuff i've already sanded it getting it ready for uh, me to do this side so <clears throat> this is where I'm at. It's it's took me a long time and I, I thought I'd show you this because I'm gonna turn the truck around here in just a moment and uh then I'm gonna put my newspapers on the windows because I gotta see <laughs> if there's anybody coming down the road or not. So uh before I turn around, be just my luck. But uh I've got it kind of taped up. I'm gonna try to get this I'm in a hurry because like I said, my trim is there. And so GM1038, his name is Brian. And if you can't remember the name of his channel, just leave me a comment. I'll be happy to write it down for or message you back, you know, through YouTube and tell you GM1038. Tim, Tim, not 10. Anyway, uh, he, if I can get the sides done and the back where this tailgate's at, I'm going to take all this stuff off. Uh, well, I've already got this much done, you see. So i got to take this off and take my other taillight housing out and put it back here in the back like I did this. And then i got to remember to put that over cover my wheel so I don't get overspray on that. I'm just rattle can painting. That's what I do. I rattle can paint everything the best I can. Then... I put my own patina on it, but this time I'm not going to use as much patina on it. I'm not going to put as much on it. It looks pretty good. I mean, it's, uh, what was it? Uh, white, gloss white or white gloss, whatever. I mean, uh, <clears throat> I think when I scuff it down, it'll look pretty good. I've, uh, looking at this for the first time, I don't know why I didn't. Anyway, I've, I've done this whole side, so now... I'm going to turn the truck around and uh, do the other side. I know some of y'all was disappointed that uh, I did not keep the uh, what I call baked uh, patina on the fender. I was just play, I was playing around. I love playing around and uh, having fun and experimenting on my trucks because you can't hurt them. And uh, this one was headed for scrap had I not saved it. So... And it's took eight trucks to get it to this point. Now, you probably noticed I've covered the hood. I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to paint the hood or not. 
I, I, I just, some people said, won't you save this hood for something, something else because I like it so much. Well, I don't know. I'd, I can always paint it, but the main thing is get the sides done where the, where the new trim is going and the tailgate. Once I get that done, I can kind of ease up a little bit on my, uh, on my trying to rush is what I'm trying to say. Get it out here in a minute. So, uh, let me know what you think about that. All, all solid white. I mean, picture it with the new trim on it would, it looked pretty good. I mean, you know, it's, it, I'm an amateur painter. I've never had any body work experience. I don't know how to paint. I don't know how to do too much of anything. I'll just be honest with you. It's, I'm real good at spending money I don't have, but, uh, it is what it is. I mean, I'm having fun, and that's the name of the game with these old cars and trucks, isn't it? Try to save you a few bucks. Do what you can uh, with what you have. So, that's what I'm doing. And uh, I am I think once I sand it down some with some of these sanding, sanding bricks, blocks, I'm sorry, sponges. I'll get it out here in a minute. <clears throat> these are medium, and these are worn out. And I saved my worn out ones because I can kind of see how, you know, it, it won't dig in and take off too much to my liking. You know, I can just kind of, you know, go over it when I'm ready and, you know, hopefully you understand. Anyway, here comes my plane, so I'm going to hush. I'm going to turn this truck around and I'll get back with you in a few minutes. Hang in there, guys. Okay, guys, I got the truck turned around. I still got to take the tail light out and cover this wheel. I keep keep forgetting that. And if I get absent-minded and can't remember nothing. So, sometimes that's a good thing if the wife's wanting you to do something. <laughs> sometimes it's not. It's if you're trying to do something. So, uh, hang on, guys, I'll get this done. Okay, guys, I got everything kind of taped up. I already missed another spot. Dad, come it. Well, I'll get it here in just a second. Anyway, I'm fixing to paint it. Just thought I'd show you. I'm not going to put no uh, paper on this glass because I'm going to try to be very careful. Just to show you. I might put a little bit of paper, but we'll just see. The mosquitoes are after me again because they just about ate me up the other day so let's get at it i'm not getting nothing done standing here so uh here this is it now remember all this stuff that i done and of course the wind's got to start blowing as usual every time i mention the word paint the wind comes up like it's not wanting me to do it Ah, anyway, anyway, this is it. I'll see y'all in just, hopefully, just a few minutes. Hang in there with me, guys. Okay, guys, it's getting dark, and I have used three cans of paint so far, rattle can painting. I'm going to have to quit because it's getting dark, and the mosquitoes are attacking me, as usual. I've got to go over some of this tomorrow. Again, address it if, if I have time tomorrow. I'm just doing this like a couple of hours each day. As much as as much as I can get done, I feel like I'm in a time crunch. So I'm doing the best I can to get as much done as I can in a short amount of time. So we'll, we'll address it tomorrow. I, I know I probably got one or two runs, but stupid mosquitoes are after me guys but uh like i said i'll finish this up I, I need to do some more rattle can painting but i just can't stand it no more and it's getting hard to see where i stopped being it's white on white so we'll kind of address that tomorrow or the next day whenever i get an opportunity to play with this truck again i, I really enjoy this stuff if i just have the time in the and the mosquitoes are not so bad. But if I get this side over here done, 
tomorrow to my satisfaction there's still a few places I need to get especially along the bottom here this is going to be fixed at gas X chop shop with Tim Dixon check him out please gas X chop shop on Facebook gas X chop shop with Tim Dixon he's one of my best friends him and GM Tim and Charlie and Waylon and Corey were all just just a bunch of nuts in a big <laughs> in a nutshell but no uh, I'm gonna get him to fix that spot I've already got the metal bot to fix it and uh, I keep walking guys cause the mosquitoes are after me so uh, we'll address that I got a little overspray here and there I was like I said I'm on a time crunch and I cannot stand still the mosquitoes are just buzzing everywhere so I'm gonna put this truck in the garage and let it dry overnight that'll be good for it and uh we'll address this tomorrow so but my wife said it looks it looks pretty good i mean i i've done better I, i've i've painted a lot better but i just feel like i got a short about short amount of time to get a bunch of stuff done in a hurry you know how you are when you're kind of like got a time crunch but i'm sorry guys there's a mosquito that's trying to get right in my face so uh, let me know what you think, and I'm, I'm, I've got to do the top, the tailgate, and all the insides, and then clean up all this uh, overspray and whatnot, and uh, address all that. Can you see? That is a uh, that's almost. I'm gonna call him a buzzard mosquito because he's he's huge and he knows I'm in the area. So I appreciate y'all watching. You are watching Primer this best. And my name is Jimmy. If you would like to like, if you would subscribe and like and give me the thumbs up and uh, let me know what you think about this truck, uh, Billy James. Uh, I'll be honest with you, as bad as it looks now, <laughs> as bad as it looks now, I never imagined in my life that it would look this good. So, because it took eight trucks to do this one. Every piece on it is from different trucks, and it's been put together to make this one. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I'm just a sucker for trucks and cars that are going to scrap or, or when everybody else says they're not worth nothing. For some reason, in my eyes, they're worth something, you know. Kind of, kind of remind you or it does me, it kind of reminds me pretty much right spot on anyway that the way I, the Lord, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ treats me, I'm not worth, not worth a whole lot of effort, not worth saving, but he, he did save me and he did redeem me. So he saved all of us, didn't he? Washed away our sins. And now we belong to him. And I know Satan the devil must be extremely upset and mad. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Primer is best on YouTube. Please like and subscribe. Tell your family and friends. Please give me a thumbs up. It sure does help me. Leave me a comment. If you do subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know that you're on board and part of our youtube family primer this best i got a second youtube channel believe it or not called man on a budget that i occasionally occasionally put videos up on and uh i'm also on instagram man on a budget one oh i'm on primer this best facebook i'm on primer is best instagram if you'd like to check me out i'd appreciate it or keep up with me or whatever you want to do some of y'all might think all this stuff i'm doing is silly but I'm just on a budget. I don't have much money. Bills, but I don't have much money. So I'm having to do everything on a budget and make it. I just want this truck to look decent. Decent. That's it. It's not going to make them auctions. It's not going to Barrett Jackson. It's just something you could ride through town, maybe doing 55 or 60, and somebody might think, hey, that's a pretty good looking old truck. <laughs> no, seriously, it's come a long way. I thank y'all for watching. God bless each and every one of y'all, truly. I hope your lives are going well. And I want y'all to stay safe and pray to the Lord and pray for others. 
And uh, pray for us too if you don't care. I appreciate it. God bless each and every one of y'all. I look forward to talking to you the next time. You won't miss nothing if you like and subscribe. God bless y'all. Say bye, Billy James.